Good afternoon. So we've got, uh, you bought your countertops from your home box store. They're already mitered, but one of them's a little too long, or possibly both of them's too long. Uh, the technique we would recommend for a straight cut on a countertop is as such. We'll lay the top upside down and clamp it. I already have some two inch plywood to act as a straight edge and a guide for my saw. Those are in place. I'm gonna cut from the bottom side with a circular saw. Circular saw cuts into upstroke, so when your countertop's upside down, that's gonna minimize chipping. This is the type of thing you could do in the kitchen, on your carport, or in your shop at home. For a longer piece of countertop, you could use another bench or you could have a helper to catch that piece as it comes off, as the blade comes through the top. At this point, I'll unclamp everything and take off my straight edge plywood as a guide. I've used three quarter inch plywood with an inch and a quarter drywall screws. The countertop is three quarter thick. So three quarter thickness of the plywood and the countertop, the inch and a quarter screw will not run through the surface, the face side. We can flip the top over. And that's a good straight cut that's ready to be, uh, have an end cap applied or would perhaps bump up against another cabinet or wall.